Brian, welcome to Luton. How happy are you to be here? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Um, it's been a it's been in the pipeline for a, for a few days now, so I'm just like I said, I'm delighted to be here and can't wait to get going. Rob used to manage you, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been with Rob on two different occasions. Um, I was 17, 18 at the time. Uh, I went to Telford United when he was a manager there. I only had the last 10 games, it was a youth loan at the time. Um, and yeah, he took me in. Um, my first little taste of men's football as, at such a young age and hit it off really, yeah. Like, um, went really well. We managed to stay in the division because mm -hmm. Telford were going through a bit of trouble at the time. Um, you know, but I came in and, and Rob really helped me and then um, uh, the following season, he, he was the under 23s manager at Wolves, and I did one season with under 23s, and we won the PL2, which was the league we were in at the time. So, yeah, just I've had really, really good um, times with Rob, and I'm just like I say, hopefully for a time lucky for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I did a little bit of research, and I actually found a quote that Rob said about you in 2018, and he it's a positive one for you. He's saying like the important thing for you uh, to keep working hard is he's clearly got something. Uh, he's got to keep his head down and keep doing it and uh, listen, you, you have done because you're back here in the Premier League with us and, and Rob again. Yeah, like I say, the, uh, I appreciate obviously for him to give me the opportunity um, for starters um, and you know, like what he said in that quote, that's what it's really been about. I'm, I've had a lot of loans, I've had a lot of experience, um, played a lot of men's football now, especially in the Championship the last couple of years. Um, and the opportunity was here for me to make the step up, um, which you know I've, I, I want to do. I've always wanted to do from a young age. So the opportunity to be able to do that now is is fantastic. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. You say Edward is the aim from a young age. When did your love for football start? Oh, right from right from the get go. You know, as soon as I was able, as soon as I <laughs> came in touch with a ball, like, as soon as, as soon as it was out, I remember. Um, when I was a kid, me and my dad, um, at such a young age, we'd push the settees back in our house <laughs> and we'd start playing football and things like that. And that's where it all started, really. And then um, he sort of pushed me through to, to start playing. Um, I think he's seen I was left footed and thought, go on, and I'll, I'll try and push him through. Um, and yeah, my love, my love just kicked from there, really, with it. And I've never looked back. And, you know, um, growing up, I always knew I wanted to be a professional footballer. And to be able to live my dream now is, is, is phenomenal, really. Uh, I don't take it for granted, for sure. So. But like you say, it's just a case of keep learning and keep keep getting better and better and, and keep trying to get to right to the very top. Was it dreams as a kid to play in the Premier League? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think you look at you know the Premier League's the biggest league in in, in the world really yeah. and um, the best league in the world for me. Um, best players are in it. Um, so. Is there anyone you looked up to when you? Back oh, in the loads, days. loads, loads of players. You could, like, used to love on Thierry, on as a player, Gareth yeah. Bale, people like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, so many players, Ronaldo. The list goes on. Messi. I know, obviously, <laughs> he's not playing in the Premier League, but you know, you look at players, players, like, and you say, "Oh, I'd love to be, to be, to be like that." So, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's great. You touched on it earlier that you've had a few low moves, and what, 23 years old, and you have had a, quite a few clubs, so you have gained a lot of experience. What would you say you've learned from all them loans? Yeah, um, it's been a mixture for sure. I've had ups, I've had downs, um, but I think that's made me the person I am today. Um, and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Don't regret any single loan I've ever done. Um, like you say, I've had the experience, played with different teammates, different managers, different styles of play. Every manager has their own, has mm -hmm. their own way, really, has their own vision. And I've always had to adapt to it. And you know, I feel like I've done that well, reasonably well. And I'd like to think that all, all them experiences have made me the player I am today and the person I am today as well above all that. So I'm very proud of that. Um, you know, now's a different, uh, a different direction for me, a new, yeah. a, new, a new beginning, a new chapter, which um, I'm really, really excited about and, and one I really want to hit the ground running with. I was going to say, you've got the opportunity here now just to kind of make it your home, haven't you? And be settled and just focus on football for, for the next, you know, how, however long. And that, that was it really, more than anything. Um, like I said, I, I, I had I had a lot of loans and it was at a point really, I'm 23. I'm not getting any younger, obviously, I know I'm still <laughs> at a young age in the game, but more of being able to settle with a club and, and really, really kick on. I get the chance to make this a home now and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it really. Like I said, it's a new chapter, a new beginning for myself. and. And one I, I really want to succeed with, with Luton Town at the end of the day. Um, 
the opportunity for them as well as a club. I know it'll be such an exciting time mm -hmm. for everybody associated with the club. Uh, and what they achieved last year was was phenomenal. And I, I played against them both um, home and away when I was at Middlesbrough. And you could see the qualities the team have. And you know, I, I know Rob really well. And it's just a case of me coming in now and, and trying to add to the team and 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 try and improve everyone and and hopefully get getting amongst them, get that togetherness and really hit the ground running. Just on your time at Middlesbrough last season, you finished what joint top of the assist charts with 11 and clearly it's, it's something you'd love in your game to get forward and get them balls in the box. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Something that I thrive off a lot, really. Um, had a lot of success, uh, not just last season, to be fair, but on, on other uh, loan occasions. But obviously last season did, uh, did stand out. Um, and that's the sort of player I am, you know, I like to, I like to get balls in the box. I like to get fans off the seat. I want to create. Um, that's what I'm about as a player, really. Um, and I, hopefully I can showcase that here for sure. Um, I look at the type of strikers that um, Luton Town have and I feel like it suits me to the ground, really. And I'm hoping, like you say, I get to know them as individuals as well, because I feel like that's also important to get to know the striker, get to know the players in the box, what, what sort of what sort of balls in the box they like, you know what I mean? And they'll get to know me and hopefully we can build a, a great relationship and hopefully get the assists and get their goals, really. And I know you did say we, you played against Luton twice last season. The fans would have seen you in, in them two games, but for those who can't remember, maybe not just how you describe yourself, but what else can fans expect from, from Ryan Giles? Yeah, you know, just um, I'd like to think I'd work as hard as I can for the team. Um, like you say, I want to create. I yes. want to also do my bit the other end, obviously. Um, but obviously, I want to. I just want to be be a, a player that Luton Town thrive off, really, especially the fans, and and, and give them what they want. And um, they they have my assurances that I'll do everything I can um, to keep this club in in this division for sure. Well, mate, welcome to Luton. It's great to have you here, and thanks for your time. Thank you very very much. Thank you. Cut, can we cut this? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the camp, I will go in. But right now, I will. Um, I'll give my my body the best chance of healing. If. Um, if, if, if I'm around.